Well, that allows me to basically take out that amalgam, do a very conservative prep that might not have the most retention form, but now I'm going to bond this in place. And when I'm bonding my inlays and onlays, I do love to use Varilink Aesthetic because this is going to be a dual cure cement that is going to be color stable. So when I look at my indications for each of these cements, I look at Verilink Aesthetic Dual Cure. Again, it's, it's, it has my Dual Cure True as Adhesive Bond, so I now I have very high bond strengths. I know my prep design is less critical. There is more steps that are involved um, when using this, but again, I love the result that comes out of it. And in my highlights that I see here, you know, this is something that I really use in either aesthetic crowns in the anterior that might have like a post involved, and most importantly in the posterior, my inlays and onlays is something that I'm used using Verilink Aesthetic Dual Cure with. And you can use it with Empress, Emacs, and even lab processed resins. Speed Sem, again, this is my go-to cement and my everyday cement in my office. And for more often than not, my posterior restorations in the high percentile, in the high 90th percentile, are Emacs restorations. And, and due to my prep design, they're typically over 1.5 millimeters thick with a good retina form. And that's going to be an indication that I'm going to use SpeedSem. It's quick, it's easy, and I know it has some protection for um, some, some good, decent bonds available on that.